Master Effects hit me up asking if I wanted to check out their Valk Newt Distortion, and of course I said yes. It's a pretty decent sounding little dirt box. You'll notice it doesn't really have a mid-range control on it, but what it does have is two active EQs on the high and low end. And what an active EQ is versus a passive EQ is essentially a passive EQ can't boost frequencies, it can only cut. Whereas an active EQ can boost certain frequency ranges. And this is a back handle, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly, EQ, a back handle EQ. And that means that it has more of a kind of smoothed out, rounded out curve instead of such high and low shelves that other EQs have. So it ends up sounding a bit smoother and more natural. So this panel already has a decent amount of mid-range in it, and you just kind of mix the uh, high and low end to taste, right? Add some high end to get some high mid-range cut and some presence and top end. Uh, mix in just enough low end so that it's thick and you get some chugs on that low mid-range for palm mutes, but that it still stays tight, or you can mix in a ton of it so it's super thick. If you pump both of them, it's essentially almost like cutting out the mid-range and having kind of more of a scoop sound because you're really just massively boosting the high and low end and leaving a bowl there. Leads for a decent amount of interesting tonal options. So I have a little in-mix recorded and then we're gonna hear it outside of the mix and check out what all the different tones and the active EQ sounds like. Let's check it out. Thank you. 